What's up, viewers, subscribers, and agents alike? It's your boy, Lightless Fair and Prince, coming at y'all once again. I want to elaborate on a concept. Now, I want this to be thoroughly understood in a knowledgeable context of what I'm getting ready to say and not taken out of any mere context of favorable ideology to any group. I do not care. The reason why I say I do not care is because I show the impartiality to the reality. And the reason I say this is because I know that it's very easy for things to be taken out of context when it's in regards to a particular subject. Now, what do I mean, you may ask? Now, some people are like, well, what do you mean in that context? We're going to talk about the usurped and the falsified supremacy of the United States government. And we're going to talk about the established and inherent sovereignty of the people. Now, what is a sovereign? A sovereign is a state of the body of the people by legal definition. No matter the distinction of race, origin, color, creed, nativity, whatever fancy definition you wish to apply to that instance, that's what I'm talking about. Now, when you talk about government, government in and of itself, by its own legal definition, knows that it operates by a function of not even being legit. That's a fact. Now, I know that a lot of people out there are like, well, they say so do. Let us go back in history, people. History shows you that any government worldwide, any established government worldwide, ordained, and that word is very key when I'm getting ready to say what I'm saying next, ordained by the power and consent of the people, will by any means take away their divine rights to live because it imposes itself, no matter what country or continent you live on, you may be watching this, no matter what it presents to you, its job is to never make your quality of life better, but to make it worse by mandates, codes, rules, regulations, statutes, procedures. Those are not laws. See, natural law is given to the people by their creator. Now, color of government is imposed upon people by the concept of really self-appointment. And notice one key word that the document, the Constitution says, and so forth. Any other so-called documentation they try to put out there is perfunctory, but it's double-sided. They say that the government retains its power by the consent of the governed. Notice what it says. You have to be given permission from your conscience for your utterance to allow something else outside of you to control you. Period. Consent of the governed. Notice what they say. Derives, all about one word, derives its just powers. How is your powers just? Oh, because in the context of the people giving it, then it's called valuable consent. Or in and of itself, we could just say consent. But in a financial sense, you know what I'm saying? The more you go down the line, you'll see what I'm saying is very true. But consent is the key factor. Consent is the key factor. They need your consent. If, if you stop consenting, there would be no need for these individual entities to invade your personal space. You give your permission because you partake in its workings. That's why you have to stop giving your consent. Now, the contention between the sovereign and the government is that the government pretends to be sovereign, and it's not. A lot of judges, Supreme Court cases have ruled on this. Although these cases have been hidden and suppressed, they have been indeed ruled upon by their own particular agents of the government.
But as we progress to totalitarianism, as we progress to socialism, as we progress through, you know, stages of governmental experiment, such as today, you'll see that your consent still applies, but you're giving a then if you do, then if you don't sort of ultimatum. Such as the Fauci ouchie, you know, that's what I'm going to say on my channel, because like I said before, I know that YouTube has these so-called third parties who monitor content on what you're talking about, the Fauci ouchie. So now that that's out the way, these individuals that are upon the panel of government today, it's the worst, most incompetent form of government, is wanting you to believe that you have to receive a vaccination. I know this is a very contemptuous argument for some people. There are some people who believe they should, and that's fine, that's your consent for you to do it, but there are others who try to convince other people that they should too. So this is where the line is drawn between government and sovereignty. You don't have to. It is not mandated. It's not mandatory. See, they want you to believe that you're just going to walk inside of a CVS or a Walgreens or Rite Aid, whatever you got around. You know, it's all chain stores, whatever. So what? You know that these stores, first off, sell one of the worst quality products that you actually can pay for with fiat. And they're going to give you this for free. They think you just walk in there, give you a jab. No, you have to sign paperwork. You have to sign documentation. You sign documentation that otherwise absolves you of your natural right and then holds other third-party corporate entities non-liable for whatever the result is, for whatever you consented to get for yourself. Guess what? The shift of consent. We give you an ultimatum. You should be vaccines. They never say you had to. They said you should. So they give you these premises. Then you have to understand that it all boils down to legalism because you have to sign paper. You have to sign documentation, which totally absolves them of responsibility. So I recant on my statement in my previous video where I said that you will go down the line and you'll hear something come on TV because now you totally won't. It's consent. It's your permission. You give your permission. You give permission every day for the tyranny that exists in your life. You just don't realize it. Apartment. It's a fact. You really do. Whether on paper, whether by e-signature, whether by verification, in some sense, you have to give some type of permission. See, this, the permission that you you give some instances is so clandestine that you don't even know you even gave permission. Just by walking in a store, whether you believe it or not, department stores, some of our first stores, whatever, 98% of people do not read those signs. They don't read those signs that's on there. Let's say entering these premises by your own consent exempts this so-called establishment from liability so you can die in one of those places and just by you walking in the store that's all the evidence they have to give we give our consent as a society on so many levels and this is why on the opposite end of the spectrum it remains very relevant you need to start learning about what you're giving your consent to facts all you people with these Google Home devices, all these Ring devices, and all these so-called luxuries of life. Before you set that thing up, I'm telling you, better understand, read that disclaimer. All your cell phone, all that. Listen, you give your consent on many bases. Just like me, my YouTube channel. I gave my consent because guess what? I gave knowledgeable consent. <laughs> See, it's a difference between what I call dummy consent and knowledgeable consent. Because there are legal notices inside certain things too. You have to read it. 
I'm going to test your wit. How many of us have bought a brand new device? We've all had. You're watching me on right now. And certain aspects of the device needed consent. Do you give permission for Google to... Why the fuck I ain't telling me something on my face? Do you give permission for Google to access your photos, access your docs, record audio, access your camera? You have to give permission in order for that to happen. Other than that, you'll be walking around with a lemon. But there's knowledgeable consent. That means that any of this information that I so willingly wish to display upon this particular application or so forth, software, whatever, I have to have had done something incriminating, which of course in and of itself is fucking stupid. And in and of itself, that would totally, totally nullify what courts are willing to try to use as justification for, you know, constitutional constitutionality, which we know is pretty much defunct, but that's the memorandums and that's the guidelines they go by. Now, we've all done it, but we don't know that we had to have given some sort of permission. Whether you believe it or not, you have to give permission. Now, going back to the premise, government of the world cannot operate without consent of the government. However, there is an elitist deep state that totally wishes to absolve you of all the consent you have. Now, I know a lot of people say it's a conspiracy theory. Test me. Test me. Test me. Test me on that. Because I can, I can back up exactly what I'm saying. Serious. There's no conspiracy theories on this channel. There is a deep state that totally operates behind the scene. It doesn't want to be seen because it has to operate in secrecy in order for it to work. It needs its instrumentality, such as people, to convince you of its agenda. Prime example, the Georgia Guidestones. To this day, it's a monument little known to people. However, it's very shrouded in mysteria how it even came about, who did it, what organization is he funded, whatever, whatever. One of the fundamental principles that's written in stone on the Georgia Guidestones is to knock down the human population, people. Facts. I already walked y'all through this. I think the next one is to unite humanity with a new living language. So, obviously, if it's this estimated 7 billion some odd people, but they want 500 million people here on the face of this earth, that means there's a lot of people who have intrinsic knowledge that don't even know it will be missing from existence. So, a new living language will be necessary. Y'all don't believe it. You don't have to. But, I'll tell you what. The signs are there. <laughs> They're there. In your face. And the competition you face now, if you're competent enough to handle it, is to start walking in your own sovereignty and stop leaning on government. Because you can't be anti self. That's government. It's conscience. Government and self is conscience. It's not buildings, proceedings, hearings. That's business. That's not government. They came contracted from foreign entities from ages ago that they were to hold the land which we dwell upon. All of us. I don't care about your political beliefs, your historical beliefs, whatever. All of us are subject to the same system. Serious. And we're subject to it based upon it wanting our consent. You know? That's how the subjection comes in because we, as a society, 
or people have never gained a critical analysis or thought. We've always suffered from infighting. Race, culture, sex, religion, all this shit. When it all comes from the same motivating force, your religion, second hand. Some people, sexuality, second hand. Some people, race, concept of race, second hand. It all came from a motivating force that you are not aware of. And this is the division technique that they use to keep the society of people docile and stupid. As opposed to critically thinking about concentrating on the focused goal of actually absolving this government. What do I mean? Absolving the government is actually absolving the concentration of the way you think about government in your mind and focusing on your self-determination. You're not going to overthrow it like Duck Dynasty tried January 6th. They failed. Good show. Just shows you how stupid people really can be. Oh, and if you think that was by accident, <laughs> I'm from New Jersey, okay? We took a lot of trips to that boring-ass place called D.C. There were many signs around where I've seen it personally in my own adult life. No smoking. Uh, can't walk on the grass. Don't walk past the chains of the fit. You did it. Your ass is grass. You mean to tell me that Duck Dynasty scaled the, the motherfucking Capitol walls and got away scot-free? <laughs> Y'all believe that shit? You're out of your mind because they're imbuing a false sense of patriotism into you to have you adhere to that political drama. That's a fact under the guise of a certain political ideology. See, that's still you sucking on the phallus that's in DuPont Circle. Because that's all you're really doing. And I say phallus to be nice. <laughs> you're sucking on the black god Osiris's penis every time you adhere to the government because you're on the ship of ISIS. Yes, you are. <laughs> you're adhering to a system you know nothing about. Serious. But you only do it in ignorance. That's why this video is titled Supremacy of Reason. And yes, I'm enjoying my orange. It is great. <laughs> but I'm being real. You have to wake up, people. Because what's coming next? Oh, you're not going to like it. You're not going to like it at all, people. If you give your consent. Stop living your life upon a lackadaisical sense like the Truman Show that everything is going to be the same. Because there's going to come a time where you're going to realize, just like in the movie The Truman Show, shit wasn't as though that people seen it was. And in the beginning scene of that movie, he's seen one of the studio lights fall from the dome onto the street and thought nothing of it. Those of us who saw the Truman Show, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you did it, shit, sorry for you. But I'm not fear mongering. I'm empowering because it's your choice. You do what you want with what you want. That's why I hated reading case law about that Roe versus Wade situation. That was the rise of the feminist ideology. But if a woman wants to have a baby or doesn't, it's her fucking choice. <laughs> First off, you want to have one. It's your choice. Why does the power have to be determined by state authority or pretended state authority under color of law? Why? Are you not that much in charge of your sanity and your mentality that you have to have somebody write a legal opinion to justify decisions that you couldn't even make on your own? Or are you just that fucking stupid? Yes, you must be that fucking stupid. 
People think they need to go to court to justify decisions in order for them to have some validation in life. You only need validation in life if that entity wronged you. Not about decisions you need to make on everyday choices. By your inability to think, so they live. Because they keep you hypnotized with trickery, amusement, games, activity, and all sorts of other nonsense. Oh, preoccupation is the number one distraction to keep people from their self-determining choices. Some people work jobs in life where they will subject themselves to some of the most utter disrespect and some of the most, we want to say modern day, dehumanizing language and demeaning terminology that can be used to a person all because they need a check. Man, let me tell you something. Somebody disrespect you on the job site, you punch that bitch in the mouth <laughs> and fuck the last check because I know when I get up out of here, y'all going to have them folks out here in any way and guess what? Keep it because it ain't about the money. There's many other choices you can make. Stop limiting your life to choices thinking that you live in a narrow lane. You don't. You do not. If you think you do, so be it. Cut this video off. This video is not for you. Serious. I hate this shit because I know that so many people lay with latent abilities in them, but they're paralyzed because so many people have lost their inability to fucking think. <laughs> you know, you grew up with older people in your life, grandparents and so forth, whoever, uncles, whatever, everybody. They also used to say, have you lost your mind? Now I see what they're talking about. <laughs> I see exactly what they're talking about. And no matter what, the media will pinpoint and pick all of the negative shit in life to justify why they need to be relevant. They'll pinpoint all the negative shootings, killings, bombing, boom, bam, bam, bam. Little do y'all know they're behind all of it. <laughs> they're behind all of it. Now, if you don't believe that, fine. Nixon said it himself. Shit, don't believe that anything in this government happens by accident. <laughs> if it happens, it was planned. That came out of Nixon's own mouth. Transcribed. It's on congressional record, not some paltry ass newspaper article. Mm -mm. Look it up. Reason. Sovereignty of reason. Because if you don't have a mind, it don't matter. <laughs> and everything I'm saying to you is just entertainment. See, we, we're beyond conjecture when we get to a certain age. We're beyond I heard, we're beyond I read in a newspaper article or I saw some people boil their ideologies upon a single tweet. <laughs> a fucking tweet. When there was a time when I can say I was fortunate enough to grow up in this public pool system, but we actually read fucking shit. <laughs> We read stuff. Nowadays, you got kids get on social media. They see something they like, they're going to ride with it. We didn't do that. We had debates. We had debates. We did shit. I could say it. I know that don't exist in schools nowadays. You could tell. You could tell. You ain't got to tell me shit. Everybody on the laptop, this motherfucker's supposed to be in class, but he on Roblox. <laughs> Wasn't no games in my class. One none. And I'm not even that old. <laughs> and this, if it's like this today, project 10 years from now what it would be like. 
to have a fucking bunch of dummies running around here. See, when we was in school, we had, you know, one class clown. Now you have millions. <laughs> and now they're adults, too. Because people are not basing their actions upon rational thought. They're basing their actions upon feelings. <laughs> not rationality. Feelings. God damn. This is what it all boils down to. Y'all think I'm joking. You can read many texts the world over. And if you refer to some things that people have written 20, 30, 40, even 50, even 60 years ago. It's happening right now. What does that tell you? Does it mean that they were wrong? Maybe in their time. Yeah, maybe in their time they were wrong. Maybe they were a little bit too advanced for the people that were around them. But now you have people to this day, man, such and such said this 30, 20, 30, 20, 20, 30 years ago, 40 years ago. You just weren't exposed to it because they were trying to suppress that along the way because the object was to keep you dumb. See, the beauty of social media that we have today, in conclusion, is that you don't have to wait on somebody else to teach you. You don't. You can browse sites, you can digest, you can infer, you can you can research. You do not have to wait and depend upon any system of public education to ever indoctrinate you to have allegiance to a falsified government that wants to impose its policies upon you, which are not beneficial to your quality of life, but to have some sense of self-determination so you can live aside from it. And that's the end of discussion. <laughs> That's it. Can't get no more simple than that. If it does, then somebody might need to put you on some Adderall or something. And lock you away in, in a gray room with, a, with, a, with the AC bumping nice and high. Because <laughs> you ain't going to get it out here. All this access that we have free at our fingertips. Literally. To contest or digest or reject whatever it is but this is a, this is one of those rules of consent to give them as much as they can't make decision from because they don't know what to make a decision from from the first place that's a very elitist standpoint arrogant as fuck but it is arrogant but crafty at the same time keep the people dumb keep them hidden from truths even of themselves and it is what it is. I better understand the key of the golden age is to still keep you ignorant. Even in the new world order is to keep you ignorant. Even in that, in that sense, I think it's about enlightenment of man. No, it's not. No. These people have been operating like this for thousands of years. Straight. Although many attempts along the way have failed miserably, totally failed, they've always gained some sort of revival. They only gained revival because people were ignorant to how it works. If you want to stay ignorant to how it works, shut this shit off. If you want to know how it works, hit the books. Peace, light, love. Take care. Y'all stay strong. Because guess what? It doesn't get worse, it gets better. If you live this long through all this shit that's going on out here in the world, it's not as bad as you think it is. Trust me. I know.